<laughs> you don't like beef? Yeah. Uh, no, I well, just, it's okay. I don't I like I'm pretty sure Hungry Pigeon doesn't like Mark. He definitely uh, vocalizes that often. Why he are we on like... FD? Can you please uh, explain why we're on FD? Well, so Hungry Pigeon actually likes this stage versus Marth, and I can see why. I mean, traditionally, people would say that Marth gets a grab, and it'd be very difficult to for Peach to come down and get out of the air and all that stuff, because Marth can just react to all her options. But then again, it's a very wide stage, and Peach you think he's trying like, to get turnips? Yeah, that's very important in this matchup. And aside from that, it's like there are no platforms that Peach can get easily uh, punished on, because like. Normally, on a stage with platforms, like if Peach has to, uh, you know, get up after a knockdown on a platform or tech roll on a platform, it's it's limits her options a lot, like a lot, a lot. Whereas on FD, like if she gets forward thrown or something, she can just like tech away, and Marth would have to like, because if Marth doesn't react properly and doesn't get the right movement at the right time, he just messes up entirely. I, no, you know, platforms allow for like up tilts, up smashes, stuff like that. Ooh, down tilt? No, messes up. Actually, I don't think. Does down tilt hit sweet spot parasol? Probably. No, actually, that's not true. It, I'm probably wrong. It definitely feels like it does. <laughs> it feels like it should. But it, fe it sure. feels like it does. It feels like when I hit Peach with down tilt, it feels like I'm hitting her. Like she's spacing as good as possible. And it's like impossible. At the for very her to least, you should be able to cut the umbrella. Yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> ridiculous. But um, no, it's definitely uh, you have to definitely do something else. Like maybe I don't know, go off stage or something. So like, father's sure. not. Oh, that like, was cool. He's not getting a lot off the F throws though. He's getting like a fair and then crouch cancel down smashed. I like this. I like um when Marths do like a down tilt or something that. Okay, that was good. That was good recognition. Uh, knowing that Hungry Pigeon held the parasol for far too long. When Marths do the down tilt and it's like pushes them back, but they're holding in and they're stuck. Oh, that's no. unfortunate. Oh, I saw the stitch and I'm like, please yeah, it's jump like flying in slow motion. Please Pick it jump. up! What the heck? Nobody picked it up. <laughs> down air. Oh, lame. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like you'd have gone for that down air. Well, yeah. I mean, you gotta come from like below Peach when she's in that, because yeah, like you don't want to get hit. the only hit that she can hit you with is the parasol. So you gotta go from like underneath and the side in order to get like the sweet spot and not get hit. And she floats it. That was a. I feel like shielding the down smash is a 50-50. Yeah, I mean what you can do, what you can do is some characters def probably not as Martha's consistently unless your shield is full. But what you can do is sh hard shield and shield the eye out in order to uh, yeah in order to wave dash out of your shield as early as possible in order to punish Peach at the end lag of the move. But Ooh, that miss. otherwise, for Mark in particular, I just think light shielding is just the best idea. So you just yeah. get as far away as possible and just like escape, just reset. Because I mean, it's not like Peach off the hit can be devastating. Yeah, you don't want to get it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Ooh, he's. I don't know. He's uh, trying, he can he's, make it back. Mike. He's fishing for it. yeah. He's fishing for like a father. I mean, he's fishing for like a, a landing way too hard that last interaction, and so he like didn't go for anything like anti air. Oh no! I think he's dead oh, here. Oh the winky! Ah, yeah. the most uh, aroused of all the turnips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely that one. Ooh, four throw. Ooh, di in from from Hungry Pigeon. I appreciate the up the up air there, but he didn't like go all out and like reach to get the up air. I feel like it's not as risky as people think to get the upper I think uh, Hunger Pigeon is going for a lot of dash attacks, actually. Which uh, works out because Father doesn't like shielding. So he just aims at the back end of the dash dance. Uh, yeah, that kind of happens to work when you don't shield the dash attack. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is about dash attack is um, you shield it and you beat it, or you don't shield it and you either trade, or any situation where you get hit by it, or it trades with something, even if you don't get hit by it, like... Peach wins. Oh. Because it like cancels a lag or it hits you or it trades. And when Peach is ahead, you know Peach loves trading. Like that's just Peach oh, the character. He got greedy. Dude, he has a double jump though. He can probably No he doesn't. Nope. He didn't have a jump. Wait, how come? Uh, he got hit out of it. He jumped into the back air. Oh really? Yeah. Did he get the ring? Did he get the runner back air? Or no. did he just like jump into the back air? He just jumped into the back air. Pretty That's much. ouch. Because if he got down air back air, I would understand like yeah. he would try to buffer a jump well, by accident. Wait, why didn't he go to Pokemon? Um. Oh, ban I Pokemon probably. Uh, yeah, but even then, it's either Pokemon or Yoshi's, right? So like. Maybe uh, Father just likes the space. Yeah, I suppose. I can see it, but like Peach likes the space too. Yeah, I mean, if you want. Oh, that was good. He caught his DI out there and just like called him out super hard. Cause that's that's the scariest uh, new age like modern mix up with Mars versus Floaties because uh, when you're still above the stage, you don't consider that if you still DI out so they don't they don't combo you into down air, they can just straight down air and you'll fly off the ledge anyway. Like you'll like hover past it. 
Lol. I don't I, know what he was trying to do. I'm kind of geeking out about something. So, uh, Hunger Pigeon threw a turnip at Father and he shielded oh. it. Mm -hmm. So the turnip goes a little bit outward, but he wave dashes in to grab Hungry Pigeon, forward throws, and then shields the turnip as it was coming back down. <laughs> it was so fun. Ooh, Ooh, that was good. Didn't it didn't die. kill him, but that, yeah, that was fresh. I like that. Nice grab. Yeah, that was smart. That was I just want to keep Peach off stage. Mm -hmm. As long as Peach is off stage, she's going to rack up damage risk free. Marth can like, take, like, make it as long a process as he wants, as long as Peach never gets back to stage, and she'll eventually die. Like, it's yeah. as simple as that. So but in execution, it gets tricky. I've noticed when Father's uh, edge guarding Peach, he's he's doing pretty well, but a lot of times he's he didn't do what he did there. He's always facing Peach, and I feel like yeah. back air is so much better at and just swatting her. Yeah, and you get the almost guaranteed spike to the down air. Yeah. Oh, you got that taunt. He taunts. They're both no. kind of giggling. They're just like, yeah, yeah, well. You know, uh, Hungry Pigeon wouldn't be giggling if he didn't win the first game, though. <laughs> uh, perhaps, perhaps. I'm not sure. You know, I, I wasn't as confident with uh, Father taking him back here because I didn't really see a lot of, like, when he up through Peach, I didn't really see a lot of anti-airs and stuff, but uh, his, his punishes off the ledge have been, like, compensating super mad hard. So then well. you'd probably want him on a smaller stage. Me so Peach personally, is closer to the edge. Yeah, like, if I, got, oh. if I lost on FD, I would take him to Yoshi's or, or Pokemon or something, or Fountain even. That was, that was not the uh, <laughs> wisest short hop towards Peach. Interesting down smash. Probably meant to be a run up down tilt. Mm, I'll give him the benefit know, of down, the doubt. Down smash is secretly very useful in some situations. But it's so punishable. It's, it's really fast. He's so not going to die to That was a not was smart the to just fall right down. Yeah, but I mean, he could have done something else oh. and killed Peach. Ah, that sucks. Ooh, uh, no, no, no. You got to keep chasing that. Yeah. You got to keep chasing that and like wait for Peach to expend like all her coming down options, like double jump float. And you got to like snag them out and don't let her touch yeah. the ground. You it gotta seems keep like once Father gets Hungry Pigeon to that like 120, 130 range, he's really fishing for like Ooh. F smashes or something. Oh, uh, see what... I'm going to oh. sound really cocky. Go oh, for it! He yes, went for it. Yes. I'm going to sound really cocky, but uh, when he... F through Peach there as Marth, and she DI'd in. He gets the first fair, but Hungry Pigeon wisely DI's and Smash DI's down and stuff, so the second fair would uh, let it let him get his feet on the ground. Right. What I would have done after the first fair is, uh, is uh, what's it called? A bear? No, 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 single hit in air. Oh, you're nuts. I don't know if it would work or not, but <laughs> like when he did it just then, in my head I was like, dude, why did he single hit Nared there? Because like after the second fair, he was definitely his feet were on the ground, so he single hit Nared. So why didn't he go found? Because obviously Dreamline was banned. Um, why not found? Bro, I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he just likes Battlefield. Um, yeah, I don't know why he didn't go Dreamland. That's a good question. Well, well Dreamland was banned. Dreamland probably. was definitely banned. Yeah. So Fountain would be good, but I think because Hungry Pigeon and I have definitely been uh, playing a lot. Recently, whenever we whenever we see each other, and Fountain of Dreams, we we're both coming to a realization that Marth is really good on Fountain of Dreams against Peach. Like Peach isn't as good on Fountain that, as people think. I swear. That's just our opinion, though. Like, our uh, you know mutual opinion. Interesting air dodge, but it works out. I guess Battlefield is okay. I guess because there's a, there's a tall ceiling. There are very far side blast zones and lower blast zone. I guess. Uh, I, just, I just really like Marth oh. on FD. I think he does really well. Yeah, Marth on FD is really good. Or not FD, Battlefield, I mean. Battlefield? Yeah. I mean, I feel I like, think, yeah. yeah. I mean, Marth definitely in that, like, layer of characters that are so good that it really doesn't matter where you take him. Like, Marth is going to be a strong character anyway. Uh, why did he wait so long? Yeah, he should have went for a second. He just wanted, like, the perfect He's like, probably timing. trying to get a dare, I think. No, I trying think to get was, him on the platform. He was face. definitely just waiting for, like, the perfect timing so he could fare as low as possible. Oh, he has no jump. Oh, oh, he thought, he thought. I would have just jabbed that. Because, like, Peach yeah. can't avoid, yeah, can avoid jab at that. Because she can only go down. She's not going up. <laughs> so, like, if she's at that height in front of the, in front yeah, of the ledge. Yeah, but then she can just mash out up the again. Yeah. What do you do? She goes lower and lower. After? Yeah, you just, like, force her to go lower and lower, and then, oh, she's dead. No. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah. Like, keep resetting it. That's, like, the threat that Marth poses when edge guarding Peach is that. He has the ability that even if he doesn't kill her, he can at least reset it into a situation where Peach has to outplay him again to come back. So, and at any point, if she messes up, she gets killed, or she takes a, like a billion damage over the course of like slowly getting edge guarded one sequence at a time. See, like right here, just wait, just wait. That was a good fair, actually. Oh, oh he missed he, the fall. Yeah, through. he should have fallen through, gotten a fair, and that could have been a down air. True combo. 
Oh, is that it? No. Oh, no. I think he could have gotten it. He just didn't drift out far enough. So I almost was about to question the down smash, but then I'm like, true. he's at zero, so I guess it's probably smarter. Yeah. That uh, F smash oh. was true. I just want to point that out. Uh, Hungry Pigeon, if you're watching this, later. <laughs> There's a game I, of chicken right there. Kind of like a let me get out of the uh, corner, go for please it. down go smash. Go for it. Ooh, mm, I don't know. All right, here would be like Doesn't the have time to risk his stock just to kill Peach, like right here. What? So he's at 17. Out. Yeah, I know. Just like go. If he's going for the win, just play that, it safe. I mean, Even if you trade with Peach, it's fine. If he's trying to be yeah, cool, I, when Peach is a, it, it's so funny because. Yeah. Usually, even when Peach is behind, it's sometimes good for her to t for her to trade. But this is one of those situations where yeah, she's not. so behind that trading would be a not good idea anymore. Definitely, when she's ahead, it gets so obnoxious. Oh, that's it! Oh, yeah, that was that tech. was really good reaction on the mistake, actually. Do you think it was a reaction? I think it was. Yeah. <laughs>